Anong pakiramdam na maging the best? Ano ang pakiramdam ng maging number one? Of course, may proud sense of achievement pag ikaw ay binansagan na pinakamalupet. And I'm sure anyone would feel great and happy. Absolutely. However, ang laging nakabuntot sa pagiging number one ay yung tinatawag natin pressure. Ganun talaga. Ang AK-550 ng Kimco is for many, myself included, one of the best maxi scoots in the world. Naging benchmark yan. At hindi talaga. Ngayon, lumabas sila ng kapalit. Paano mo tatalunin ang sarili mong the best? ba? Diba? Well, alamin natin. Welcome to Makinamoto Features. Ito po ang bagong Kimco AK-550 Premium. You're baby, try your So what do we have here? Meron tayong isang double overhead cam with 8 valves for stroke syempre. Configuration is an inline twin. All the standards as we would expect like fuel injection, liquid cooling, all there. Yes, 550.4 cc tayo so may butal ng konti. This is more on the heavier side, the 223 kilos dry weight or about 491 pounds. So with a full tank of gas and kung kasama pa yung rider easily, this bike's gonna be lugging around over 600 pounds. Fuel tank capacity na then we are at 14.5 liters. Some pluses of course meron tayong cruise control. Isa rin na pinapalakpakan ko dito is the addition of their so-called advanced intelligent braking system or cornering ABS. Meaning, pag nasa corners tayo or nagbabanking ka, if you suddenly need to hit the brakes at an angle, the advanced intelligent braking system will intervene accordingly. So, paano nyo ito ginagawa? Ina-analyze ng AK-550 yung speed ng harap ng gulong in relation to on sa rear na gulong and yung overall dynamic state ng bike, yung angle niya, etc. It will manage the bike accordingly. It will break it properly in that situation. Traction control, meron tayo. Dalawang modes as well. Uh, essentially, it's just rain and full-on power. Pag naka-rain ka, automatic yung traction control mag-on na. Pag naka-full-on power ka, meron ka rin option to take out the traction control or put it back in there. Yung ABS din nito, it is the latest generation. Meron siyang 9.1 MP ABS by Bosch. Dito. May charging mode tayo sa glove box, so that's very convenient. For the gauge, incorporated dito yung Nudo. Of course, I've featured Nudo before as far back as with the Kimco Like. So, of course, kasama yung Nudo dito. And with Nudo, you can customize the look to taste. For the colors of the new AK-550, we have black, flat brown, and calm blue. Here we go folks, the flagship AK-550. If you have seen a lot of our features here in Makina, you would know that one of the maxi scoots that I hold in high regard, yung isa sa mga maxi scoots natin na sobrang nirerespeto ko na matindi talaga, is the AK-550. In all over the world, one of the best seller flagships out there, Europe, uh, in Spain, 
other parts of the world, ito ang talagang minamangha or hinahangaan ng karamihan ng mga motorists. Kung meron maxi scoot na flagship dito sa range na to na kailangan i-beat or may bar na sinet, ito na yon. If you are number one, if you are touted as the best, uh, anything that you do after that, may pressure. Pag number one ka, yung challenge, paano mo titibagin yung sarili mo? So looking at our face right now, obviously it's, it's much more modern looking, still very Kimco-esque. And the design is pretty okay. Although I have seen other designs out there, other manufacturers that are already pushing the lines in terms of trying to look very, very different. Yung Kimco 550 natin ngayon, medyo nakikita natin yung hakbang from the old to the new. Even yung mga lower displacement, di ba may AK-550, tapos may mga bagong lumabas na mas mababa na displacement na maxi scoot. Makikita mo na evolution hanggat eto na tayo dumating na tayo sa bagong AK-550 na lang. However, ang thing nga dyan, dahil meron mga ibang aggressive looking maxi scoots out there, it's either two things. That Kimco is still sticking to what it knows works and that it being quite conservative with it. Therefore, that's a good and a bad thing. Others might view that naman parang dated siya. Or yung iba naman sabihin, okay, this is what I'm comfortable with. This works for me and I'll stick with it, diba? I'm gonna light this up in a bit. I like how it's incorporating it in the cheek. Now also here on the side, if you check it, it's a mixture of matte. You got this color here. You got shiny. and It's very elegant looking. Single shock over here, over to the side. And I think that's a... Nice touch, nice design. You got a nice little red here that's popping up. I also like the idea that you can see your belt mo and see the condition right away. Okay, let's fire this thing up. So this is our key. It's pretty simple as it is. And if there's something na medyo siguro pwedeng i-improve pa ni Kimco, you know, Kimco has been very, very practical kung ano hindi naman nila kailangan gawan ng arte to save on cost and to just be straight up practical. I guess it would be their keys, but I don't know. I feel ko kasi parang mas okay kung may content drama pa to. Something more elegant like maybe highlights here on the side. In terms of styling, kasi with a flagship like this and I see a key like this, oh parang mas plain yung key nila. But again, it doesn't have anything to do with how the bike is performing. Capricho ko so make sure this is near the bike when you start it off. We have an on button, so let's press it. I'm gonna get two beeps and look at that. Napaka brilliant kagad ng sasalubong siyo. Parang pag let's party already. If you take a closer look, this screen is pretty awesome. This is very clear. Tanghaling tapat ako ngayon, although I'm under a roof. You can already see na sobrang liwanag sa labas, but this thing is still popping up. And when I was riding ng lunchtime pa rin sa metro, sobrang nakikita ko lahat. So, this has got to be in this type of material na ginamit na one of the brightest, one of the most easy to read screens. So my suggestion here for Kimco, since we are in this level already, I would change that to, to like a more dynamic pwedeng touch screen, pwedeng integration sa mga phones natin. Mas integration in terms of talking about sensors ng ating mga sasakyan, yung mga engine natin, nakikita natin yung oil pressure, ano nangyayari, your travel history, all that stuff. Super, yun nga lang, tatadtara mo ng sensors yung scooter. Now, I'm on the fence on that. Kasi when you put more sensors, like yung mga cars, minsan dun pa, ilo na ilo dun nasisira, di ba? So, I don't know. I'll give it to Kimco to decide what they think is better for that. What's all also cool is that we have a button here to raise or lower our screen like so see that that's down this is up if you want more wind and you're slower and you want better visibility you bring that thing down now I am appreciating this this is a very convenient way of doing it some slide up and down this is more of a swivel na paganon at paganon hindi siya yung iba kasi ganun eh paganon siya so ito Pabuka. So, again, take a look. Sobrang okay ako dyan. Palakpakan tayo mga kaibigan for what Kimco did there. Now, this being a flagship, you got some buttons over here. But it's not really complicated. This is basically your traction control. Buttons here for your lights. Yung ating horn. You got your signal. This is our signal light over here. And you can see how nice the light is. That's our bright, non-bright, bright. Non -bright, so just like the old AK-550, you have a ticking sound pag ikaw ay naka-signal light. And that's very very important para di mo makalimutan na patayin yung signal light mo. Kasi yung nga iba, nakakaliwa ka na, maandar pa rin signal light mo, hindi mo alam. Yung mga tao sa likod mo, they think you're turning left and di ba delikado yun. This one can be sorted out with the app, with whatever you want to put in there. More details here as well. Now in terms of the seat, ito na yung pagka-primo niya. I mean, from the pillion, Comfortable. I mean, this was built for couples. 
This is built for being comfortable all the time. Ang kasan pinag-uusapan, komportable po tayo dyan. Look at all that foam you have for your passenger. You got a nice little lower backrest for you, the rider. And of course, yung ating upuan, upuang pang hari o reina. Very, very wide. It's very, very firm. Kala kasi nila palambutan ng foam. It's not the case. Kasi pag sobrang lambot ng foam, madulubog lang yung put mo, di ba? You need something firm that can cushion your weight. And this is, again, one of the best seats that we have out there for Maxi Scoots. Tire size natin, 120-70-15s. And as Maxi Scoots go, that's pretty stable already. Okay na siya. Ang nilagay nila na, nilang gulong dito, naka-dunlops po tayo. So, makapit-kapit tayo dyan. And these type of tires na nilagay nila, it's really more for touring. And I appreciate it. Wala mo nang galawan ng gulong pag bilhin nyo na ito. Yun na yun. Pagpura nyo muna yan. Brakes, Brembo, of course. And we have... ABS. Rear, it's gonna be slightly thicker. 160, 60, 15 tayo sa likod. Kapal, oh. <laughs> diba? Our rear, pretty nice design as well. That's our indicator for the brakes. One thing I also appreciate about Kimco with a bike this heavy, like for example, andito ako sa incline, diba? Pababa tong garahe natin, it's going down. Like kanina, umupo ako dyan, tinanggal ko yan. I was holding the camera. Umaatras na siya. <laughs> Sobrang bigat niya, hindi kaya tukurin ng just your feet. Right? Because it's a big scoot. So, meron po tayong handbrake dito. You just basically engage it by pulling. And before you ride, you can already see na naka-park mode siya. And you gotta put that back over there. So, Okay, for safety, we have our side stand. If this thing's down, the engine will shut off. The sound is very, we, I hear a, a, a bassy note coming out of the exhaust, so very chesty siya, very beefy sounding, and of course, that's because of, it's a, you know, it's a big engine. Okay, if you're wondering why it is hesitating, it's because we don't have traction control. You gotta get rid of the traction control if you want it to just bite right away. Now in terms of top speed on a set standstill. So the limiter will kick in. This can potentially go 199 kilometers an hour wherever you're gonna find this, the place to do that <laughs> legally. Sagad sagara na yon. But what we just did here is a standstill, meaning there's no wind, there's no weight. It's just going up, right? So makina wise, AK550, subok na subok na yan. Okay, so let's open the compartment. So una, nung pinindut ko yan, dito ko mihila. Sabi ko tayo bumukas. Yun pala, ang bukasa niya ay dito sa harap. There you go. That's what it is. Pretty big space. Um, as I recall though, uh, well of course, unlike the smaller Kimco Maxi Scoots where I can put my leg there, this one, kung pa ako lang ilalagay ko dito, kapit ko lang yung aking toes dyan. Kapit. Diagonally, hanggang tuod ko from there to there. One full face helmet can fit there. Probably a quarter helmet dito sa side na to. Chinelas check tayo. Oh my gosh, i-retire ko na tong isang to. This is how big it is. Ta -da, na, 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 na. With size 11 chinelas. Oval size. Let's open up the gas tank. Press this button over here. And open it up. And that's where you can gas up. In terms of spacing, Wala tayong gulay board, pero ganun talaga pag maxi scoot, di ba? That is our size for our step board over here. This is again size 11 natin, chinelas. You got a lot of leeway going on there. A lot of leeway going on there too. Very, very comfortable. Malaki-laki siya. Press this button over here. So in terms of space, kasha naman, malalaman naman yung size 11 natin at chinelas dyan. So, mga ilang saba din yan, di ba? Tatlo, patong, I'd say mga pitong saba. Kakasha mga pitong saba dyan. Now, in terms of this side, this is not compartment kasi may screw dito, so it's going to access more parts here. I'm assuming it's for the reservoir for the radiator.
So, did the new AK-550 beat the old one? I would say yes, but not by much. So, dalawa lang ang ibig sabihin nito. Isa, sa sobrang tindi talaga ng dating AK-550, ay konti lang talaga yung ma-improve natin. Kasi, matindi naman talaga yung dating AK-550 eh. Or, Kimco wants to purposefully and conservatively stick to what works design-wise and not deviate from what is considered the pinnacle of maxi scoots during its time. In other words, we can say that Kimco is on the safe side with this release. Is it a bad thing though? Not necessarily, but the thing is, with how fast technology has been developing, in line with, of course, mga younger designers out there, and you got a lot of, you know, a lot of spirit in their young minds. And then yun nga, yung, yung technology natin ngayon, sobrang bilis ng development. We cannot help but think that the competition can catch up and even surpass Kimco. Ito na yung sinasabi kong pressure, di ba? If you're, if you're number one, you know, everybody below you, they want that spot too, right? In terms of yung achieve mo technology, yung na-achieve mo in terms of yung perception mo sa tao, everybody under you, they want that. They're clawing their way up. What would you have them do? There are only two options. They can go radical and completely overhaul and change the AK-550 to the point that it's completely different or slowly, incrementally change it. So, meron siyang slow evolution. And, yun nga, like what I mentioned kanina, there are plus and minuses to that approach. So, even where the AK-550 sits in the Moto hierarchy found in my mind, and, it, and it's pretty high up there in my head, there are still some improvements that can make this even better. This is what I'm talking about. With a display this big, I mean, have you seen the latest displays right now of Mercedes-Benz, BMW, sa kotse, ha? we're talking about cars. Yung buong panel nila dito, it's one big, big screen, like sa dashboard nila. I don't know, maybe my suggestion with Kimco, since they are the market leader right now with uh, Maxi Scoots, at bago sila unahan, maybe they can already develop that same concept. It's like one big, mahabang gano na touch screen. They're gonna have the biggest display. It's gonna be more cutting edge in my opinion, and I think it, it's just going to be overall more more impressive if, we, if they do it that way. Now, I wondered, what would happen if Kimco would experiment a bit, maybe pop in some more color. Then nga, lately I've been in the mood for more color, even with elegant, classy, luxury maxi scoots, diba? Usually they're gonna tone down at the color. But I don't know, for me, I'm looking for more pop, more color, more reds perhaps, more blues, more whites. Plus, with brighter colors, malaki na nga siya tignan, mas malaki pa siya titignan, diba? So yeah, this Kimco AK550 Premium is still for me the maxi scoot to beat. However, the next release should be a complete jump and not a little hop in their evolution scheme. And I say this with a lot of fondness for this series. I mean, with what Kimco has achieved with the AK-550 in the recent years, and I'm sure they want to see themselves in that top spot. So I think maybe stick their neck out a little bit more and come up with something a bit more radical, a nice deviation from what they have right now. Because like what I said a while back, with how technology is running nowadays and with the new designers popping up left and right, the AK-550 can get surpassed. So Kimco, what are you gonna do about it? But for now, they're still up there. This is Zach from Makita Moto Features. Ciao! Children's eyes clearly see Caught between worlds of uncertainty Vata spoons from Mertz the gig Your soul survives from time Looking at you